What exactly is a calorimeter and what are its uses? Now before we define what a calorimeter is, let's recall specific heat. Specific heat of a substance is simply the quantity or amount of energy that is required to raise the temperature of one kilogram of substance by one degree Celsius. For example, we know that it requires 4,186 joules of energy to raise the temperature of one kilogram of water by one degree Celsius. Now what exactly is the relationship between specific heat of the substance and the change in temperature that it experiences as a result of the change in energy, of the transfer in energy? So the relationship is given by the following equation. So the specific heat of of our substance given by lowercase c is equal to the amount of energy transferred given by, uh, by q divided by the product of the mass of the object and the change in temperature. So we see that the units of specific heat are joules per kilogram times Celsius. Now, a calorimeter is essentially a device that allows us to measure the amount of energy that is transferred as a result of the change in temperature. So it allows us to measure the specific heat of our substance. Now, there are different types of calorimeters that exist, but generally speaking, it looks something like this. So we have the cup, which is usually made from some metal, and inside this cup we have a liquid, usually water, whose specific heat we usually know. So this layer outside the cup is the insulation layer, and the air and this insulation layer keeps the energy from escaping this cup. So we have the thermometer that is placed into our liquid and we can use that thermometer to measure the change in temperature of our system, as we'll see in just a moment. And this stir is essentially used to homogenize our mixture. So how exactly does it work? Well, we take a certain sample of a substance whose specific heat we want to measure and we increase the temperature to some known temperature. Then we take that substance and we place it inside our liquid and the change in temperature takes place. So this liquid increases in temperature. Then we measure that change in temperature and we use this equation to calculate the specific heat heat. So let's see exactly how that works by looking at the following example. A 0.2 kilogram sample of unknown metal is heated to 600 degrees Celsius. It is then placed into 0.5 kilograms of water in a calorimeter at 15 degrees Celsius. The water itself is contained in a 0.2 kilogram calorimeter cup made of aluminum metal. The final temperature of our system is 35 degrees Celsius. Calculate the specific heat of the metal knowing the specific heat of water and the specific heat of aluminum. So initially, before we place the unknown metal into our system, our cup, our aluminum cup and the water are, are both at 15 degrees Celsius. When we place the metal into the water, the temperature of the aluminum cup and the temperature of the water increases to 35 degrees Celsius. So that basically means not only is the energy transferred into the water, but the energy is also transferred into our aluminum cup because the temperature of both systems increases. Now, because we have this insulating layer, we know, we assume that no energy escapes into the environment. So that means all energy remains in our system. So that implies that the energy lost by the metal is equal to the energy gained by the water plus the energy gained by the cup. So we essentially take this equation, we rearrange and solve for Q. And we see that the Q, the energy lost by the metal, is equal to the product of the mass of the metal, our 
a specific heat of the metal what we're looking for so we're looking for this quantity and the change in temperature of our metal and this is equal to the product of mw cw change in t plus m a c a and change in t where m w is the mass of the water c w is this quantity change in t is the change in temperature that our water experiences and the same goes for this m a is the mass of the aluminum cup c a is this quantity here and change in t is the change in temperature that our aluminum cup experiences when we place that metal into our cup so since we're looking for this, we have to solve for this. So we bring these two terms to this side and we get the following result. The sum of these guys divided by the product of mm multiplied by change in t where mm is the mass of the metal gives us where, what we're looking for, the specific heat of the metal. So we know all these quantities so we plug them into our equation so the mass of the water is 0.5 kilograms the specific heat of water is this quantity and the change in temperature of water is 35 minus 15 or 20 degrees celsius now the mass of our cup is 0.2 kilograms the specific heat of aluminum is this quantity and the change of aluminum is also 20 degrees celsius and we divide that by 0.2 kilograms the mass of our metal and the change in temperature of our metal the metal begins at 600 degrees celsius and ends at 35 degrees celsius so 600 minus 35 so we add these two we divide and we get approximately a specific heat of 402 joules per kilogram times celsius